So I got this lawnmower here. It's um, it's a Stiga Commune, and it, that means it's a. Uh, they changed name to Stiga Pro. Commune means like municipality. So it's for people who work with these things. It's uh, it's got a real nice deck. So it's aluminium, aluminium, um, and I. The engine was wasn't very good, hard to start. So I put in this uh, Chinese uh, 120 cubic inches, no cubic centimeters, sorry. Um, and it it was a good mover. Um, I had no use for it, so I landed it to my uh, grandma. She had this battery mover, but it couldn't really cope when the grass was growing fast. But they thought this was hard to start, so she got a better battery mover and I got this back uh, I think it's just been sitting around there so probably the fuel has gone bad so I'm gonna I'm gonna start by changing out the fuel to new and see if it starts then the air filter is a bit dirty but not not too bad So I'm just gonna I'm gonna take out these two screws uh, and these nuts here, and then I can just pull the whole uh, carburetor off. It's easier to get the fuel out, and I can see if there's any contamination inside the carburetor. I like these engines. They are they're copies of Honda. Usually they last very long if you just take care of them. Um, strong, doesn't take much fuel. So if you can't afford one of these uh, Honda GX or GXV, which is the vertical one, um, these are a good um, substitution. Okay, now we should be able to just yeah to slide that thing off here. Oh, <laughs> so this is a bad thing about the uh, um, Chinese stuff. See the the, <laughs> the rubber, it's not very good. So this is the breather hose for uh, crankcase ventilation. I need to change that one. Ah, oh, doesn't clear this bracket. So maybe if I just do this, I can get the bowl out and clean it out. So there wasn't so much fuel in there, that's good. Doesn't smell like fuel. I think it's gone bad.
So I'm gonna change that breather hose later. I'm just gonna see if it starts now. Okay, I'm gonna take the sparkler plug out. Then we can check that it's wet, means it got fuel. And if it is wet, we can see if there's any spark. See the the plug is dry, so probably something with the fuel then. So we got spark, but no fuel. Okay, so I got the whole carburetor out, and uh, now I'm gonna just take all the fuel out of it. See if we can do it like this. No. Okay. So we get fuel into the to the to the lower bowl here. So probably the float in there works. But then we don't get it any further. So it could be some kind of blockage in there. First I'm going to remove the float, it's really easy, just, it's just a pin, take it out, like that, and then lift this up here. So this needle here, it stops uh, the fuel from getting in there when the bowl is full. Uh -huh. but we had fuel there, so probably no problem. I'm gonna take away the main jet. I think this is like the only thing you can actually service here. I had a Honda uh, original engine and uh, that was really didn't run 100%. I tried to, to clean it with compressed air but um, didn't really work. Ooh. And um, so I got these really small uh, drill bits. I'll be using that on this one here. So this is how they look like. You can just you just slide this to what you want. I don't know what size this is, 
but it's these the small holes you see here make sure they are 100% clean and this is the main jet should also be clean and that Honda it looked clean but it didn't run until I got these um, and just manually clean them on the Honda I couldn't find information regarding what size it was but I just took a guess this one and <laughs> it worked very well Lower ones done. Maybe this is the same size. There was something in there. So the main jet was a bit clogged. So I lost the 0 0.4 millimeter drill. Okay, maybe it runs now. I guess you have to use the primer a lot in this engine, there's no choke on it. 